Welcome to Liberty Explained. My name is Chris Spangle. Thank you so much for joining me. And Liberty Explained is where we answer your questions about libertarianism and politics at large. Go to libertyexplained.com to find past episodes and videos and all kinds of different resources. And we will answer your question at ask at wearelibertarians.com. Today's question is... Is it imperative to have a moral society for libertarianism to work? Or will liberty make society function better? First, we need to define our terms for both libertarianism and government. What are they? Well, the foundation of libertarianism is something called the non-aggression principle. It is the basic morality that our parents taught us as kids. Don't hit people. Don't take their stuff. Treat everyone with respect. Now, Mary Rohr wrote a book right above me here in the video called Healing Our World. I highly recommend it. And she called this the good neighbor policy. Government, on the other hand, causes us to violate these basic principles. For example, Social Security takes money from one generation to give it to another. Money is a symbol of labor and expertise. And an individual trades their time and effort for the money, and that is then redistributed to another individual that did not spend effort or time for that dollar. In a word, it's theft. It's immoral. So the government also perverts the notion of what is moral. To some, Social Security is a great moral good because it is a social safety net. Believing this is true necessitates ignoring the theft that takes place to keep the program afloat. Now, as private institutions have waned in power and impact, the government has grown in size and scope. As a result, Americans turn to politics to find meaning for protection and salvation instead of investing their time and energy into their local communities. The problem is that politics pits one group of people against another. So people begin to act immorally in pursuit of power because they need to control the system instead of letting the other guy do it. Now, given these facts, waiting for society to become more moral is impossible and unworkable. So... What are we to do? Well, first, we just have to have an awareness of what government is and that there is an alternative, that there is a better path, one that chooses harmony and spontaneous order instead of collective order, one that allows people to flourish, and one that allows for voluntary cooperation. And the other, cloaked in compassion, is anything but. So first, we have to have an awareness. Second, we have to start doing something about that awareness and start thinking about different solutions and put at the core of those solutions nonviolence. Is it imperative to have a moral society for libertarianism to work or will liberty make society function better? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, you have to be a moral person <laughs> to function in a society that runs on voluntary cooperation. Um, but men are not angels, and so therefore you're never going to have a utopian idea where nobody ever gets hurt, nobody ever gets ripped off, nobody ever gets murdered. Those things are not going to happen, so immorality will exist, which is why you still will have rules. But those rules and those laws will be agreed upon by people instead of actually uh, living under laws passed by past generations. So... Thank you for joining us here on Liberty Explained. We hope that answers your questions. If you have questions, ask at wearelibertarians.com and we will share some libertarian solutions with you.